Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hacker Tools. Now this week we will be looking at Delphox, a tool that can make XSS scanning easy. Finding XSS can often be a repetitive and laborious task. And many attempts, many tools have been created that try to automate the XSS process. However, very little of these tools actually come close to getting it right. But today we are covering Delphox, a tool that did get it right. So let's find some cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. First of all, what is Delphox? Well, Delphox is a tool that um, can find XSS through uh, parameter analysis and XSS scanning. Um, th so this tool can find reflected parameters. It can identify injection points. It checks for bad headers, but it can also even do basic additional vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, uh, server side template injection, and so on. So how does this work? Well, it starts by uh, attempting to find parameters. These can be get parameters, post parameters, uh, and it does that by pr either brute forcing them, but also by uh, looking at the DOM and seeing if it can find any parameters there. Um, besides that, it will also use a lot of, uh, it will use grep to find patterns in output so it can find, for example, SQL errors uh, and all that nice stuff. Um, as well as your reflected parameters, of course, to find XSS. But it can't only find reflected XSS because this tool can also try to go for stored or DOM-based XSS vulnerabilities. Um, and once it has identified such an injection point, it will then also try to create a payload based upon which characters are disallowed uh, or which encodings are being used. So this tool is actually really, really, really nice. So let's check it out. I'm gonna head over to my Kali machine and let's take a look at it. So uh, first of all, I have this vulnerable web page that you can see here. Um, you have some categories and I can click on a, a category, for example. Um, and let's see if there is some XSS on this page. So I'm just gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna go to the command line and we are gonna run slash opt del fox and then the del fox binary. Then I'm going to say URL and just paste in my URL. Now it's going to output a lot of things here, but uh, let's look at these piece per piece. So first we have our targets. Then we have the method. This is a get method uh, we're using 100 workers. Uh, BAV stands for basic additional vulnerabilities. So that's scanning for SQL injections and so on. So that's also happening. It's mining them by brute forcing. And then it's also mining parameters. Um, through the DOM. So these are some of the settings and then the scan can start and already it found, found some uh, MySQL errors on this page so it outputs it. So let's visit that page and see if we see an SQL error and indeed we see an SQL error which might, might point towards an SQL injection of course. So now you could run SQL map or do it manually but that's cool. Uh, then we have some more uh, MySQL that it found then it says, well, I found two testing points through DOM-based parameter mining and, and another testing point through a dictionary. And it found that the cat parameter is being reflected. And then it was able to trigger an XSS payload uh, through an SVG with an onload. So that's really cool. And then right here at the bottom, we obviously have that payload as well. So if we visit that page and we see that we do indeed get our a prompt. So we have an XSS and that is how Delphox uh, works and can be used to find XSS in, uh, in web applications, which is amazing. It's a really cool tool that is definitely useful that you can incorporate into your, uh, yeah, just into your, uh, your methodology. However, can it only do this that I just showed? No, um, it has some other things that you can do. For example, you can say uh, Del Fox and then file and then supply a file containing all your endpoints. And this is really cool um, because you can have a lot of endpoints that you want to scan. So a full file and you can just run through all of them. 
uh, you can also use uh, Delphox pipe and this is amazing because then you can uh, just for example if you have a word list and you want to run unique on them and then run Delphox on them well you can do that uh, you can obviously do other things as well but this way you can take it from uh, by piping into Delphox so that those are the ways that you can run the whole tool lastly um, Delphox has a lot of other things that you can check out uh, so there's there's a lot of modification that you can do you can really tune this um, tool like in whichever way you want it if you want to have some custom grabbing use that just grab um, so you can do pretty much whatever you want with this uh, I'm, I don't I won't be going into all of these things but it's very useful to just read this help page to see what you can do and lastly something else that is really cool is the Delphox server command because this just starts up a rest server uh, and for example now if I uh, were to have an XSS payload that uh, would connect to my machine, then I could obviously see that. So if I quickly copy this port here, and if I were to curl that with something, then you see that we get the request back here and all the information about it. So that if you were to do some uh, blind XSS stuff like that, then you would be able to get your... Um, to see that your payload ran and stuff like that so that's obviously also really cool and that's it for Delphox I would really suggest that you try this out on your own uh, let me know how you like it down below in the comments if you like this video as always like it and uh, subscribe if you want to see more if you have any tools that you would love to see us recommend uh, post them Comment them down below and we might cover them in the following weeks. Thank you all for listening and I'll see you next week.